OK, we are starting with a brand new install, and we're going to create a course from scratch. You will see that the templates course is available to you to copy from. I'm not going to open this yet, instead I'm going to press the new button, and put the name of our course. In this case, I'll call it test. OK, the test course is now created, and has a single default screen in it. Before we add any screens to it, we shall customise the course with the look and feel of the company. Let's change the thumbnail image first of all. Let's say the company's branding is mainly red and white. So we pick an image from our hard disk. These are library images supplied with Jackdaw, but you can create your own images including your company logo, and Jackdaw will automatically size them for you. In a similar vein, we go to the Backgrounds folder, and select from a list of default backgrounds. These can be defined for each screen, and again, you, of course, you can take photos from your own work environment and pop them into the training, giving that extra sense of customization. Now, don't forget to press the Apply to All buttons to see the changes on any existing screens in the course. The final bit of branding we do is to change the title background color. In this case, we'll select a red color. OK, so we can press OK, and we reload the course. And voila, there we have the new branded course ready to receive some new slides. Screens are added in Jackdaw by copying screens from our existing course, or any of the industry-specific template packs you can buy, into the existing course, and then customise these screens to create the new course. With around 150 screens and over a thousand different parameters in each, the options are endless. OK, so what we're now going to do is open the template course. So we go back to the home screen and double click on the template course. We can now select the screen we want to use. We are going to maximise the menu, which lets us see more templates. Then we scroll to the one we like. In this case, I'm going to select the news template. Do not worry about the video presenter, he will not be copied into your new course. Instructions do exist on the website if you want to add a presenter into your own course. Anyway, so we can now copy the screen, and we go back to our new course and paste it in there. Now we can see there are two screens. We now no longer need the old Welcome to Jackdaw screen, so we will remove it by cutting it. And here we can see our course with just our new screen in it. To change the content, we expand the main screen element where we can see a number of elements which make up the screen. To customise them, we can expand each and make our changes. So we will enter a new section title. This appears at the top of the screen as well as on the menu. We can change the title by clicking on the Edit HTML button and again typing in some text. In a similar way, we can edit the content text. We can make other changes such as adding a narrator or voiceover, adding a video, and a new background for instance, but in this case we'll just save our changes. Press reload, and there we can see our first screen. Now in the same way we're going to select another template. In this case we will select Pyramid 3. This is a graphic which nicely describes the process we want to train. Now you can see there are four screen tabs here. The first one introduces the screen, the other three represent each part of the pyramid. So to start with, we're going to give the screen a name other than Pyramid 3. So again, we edit the section tag and change the name. Editing the title will edit the labels on the pyramid. And we can enter some introduction text. So we save our changes and reload to see them on the new screen. So that is the first step recorded.
To do the next, we will need to repeat the process of editing the introduction and content text for the next step. So expand it, and make the same changes as before to the title, and enter some text into the content tag. And we do the same for the next steps. So we change the title again. And the content. You can cut and paste from a Word document as I'm doing now, which is better for spell checking, etc. And so we do the final step. Now at this stage we may want to add a video or image to the step. We can do this by selecting an image or video from a hard disk. We can also change the properties to move it around or resize it if we want. And the same principle applies to adding any multimedia, such as videos, voiceover, etc. So we can reload and see the whole screen. Now we can add a further screen. So we go back to the templates, and in this case we will select a video template. Again we copy it, then return to our course and paste it at the end. So we now edit the video screen. This process should be familiar to you. So we give the screen a name. We can edit the title. Change the content. So there we are. A quick e-learning course done. You can now add quizzes using Jackdaw and import the course into any SCORM compliant learning management system. Jackdaw is simple to use, but don't take my word for it. Download it today and start using Jackdaw for a free 30-day trial. You'll be so amazed at just what you can produce, we doubt you'll go back to PowerPoint-style e-learning ever again.